love for me not for cut a meal. I'm a do for guy. Fascinating that people were killed. You find it fascinating that people were injured, people were armed. You find it fascinating that results were being changed. You find it fascinating that violence was brought into the election. Well, they've heard you. They've heard you loud and clear. And the gubernatorial election, they unleashed more violence. More people have been killed. More people have been harmed. More people have been disenfranchised. More people have been refused to perform their civic duty. The same thing that you not accept in your own country. You come to our country and you sit down, you're fascinated by an election that is mad with violence because of course, it's, it's, it's a horror film you can watch live happening. Again and again and again we have stand. This double standard, this two-faced standard, we do not want it. You sit in your pretty little countries, you have election where people are free to go out and vote, where nobody is afraid for their life, where nobody is killed when they go out for election, and then you come to our own place, you are setting minimal standard. You're okay with, oh, a few being killed. Because those few are not part of your families. Those few are not your citizens. We do not need handouts from you. We do not need handouts from, from this nation. You sit down, you constantly want our country to be down. You want our continent to be down. So that you say, oh, we sent them five million pounds for the election. That's payers money. Do we look like we need five million pounds? Does Nigeria look like it needs five million pounds? We have said to you, stop giving an enabling environment for people who loot our nation dry and take them to your places and invest them there. There must be minimum standard. We're sitting down here, people are being killed because they want to exercise their civic duty. And you come to tell us that we should be proud of an election that is so mad. Because, oh, it's better than 2019. How? Well, more people have been killed. They heard you loud and clear. Hope you're happy now. I believe you just finished watching that video. I've continued to say that uh, Nigerian government and me I have continued to say that British government are me. Some of you don't know what I have seen to continue to hit at the British government and their so-called representatives in Nigeria. We only allow you to go on with that election in Iboland, because we wanted to prove a point. We wanted to let the world know that we are not the enemy of democracy. Because the plan was to accuse IPOB, Amazon the kind of destructive election. As usual, they wanted to put the blame on Eastern Security Network. As you mean, we allowed them to succeed. Because the governors already prepared to unleash mayhem on the people. This was what Buhari told them to do. Because they wanted to see if we, we continue to claim it at home on that day of election so that they can see chance to unleash the mayhem and put the blame on IPO. By now, we will not get struggle to fight for. Look, I've said this several times. I don't have anything against those who claim they want to fight for new Nigeria. But where I have a problem with them, and I've got to say it is this. There's no how you can use cold hand, kiss glove, to fight the cabals who has taken over Nigeria. The enemies of the so-called Nigeria. No matter what you do, they will not allow your pay visit to work. It's either they do it by themselves, just like what they just did in two thousand in two, in on the twenty fifth of presidential election, and what they just did in this group election. 
they know many ways to pass. Since they are finding that, that now the youth has decided to take over their country, they have not a choice that to make sure that they follow different ways. The presidential election was rigged, no doubt. But what just happened in this governorship election is the worst. This is because someone like Katrina Lan told the Nigerians that the election was fascinating. And for saying that, he gave them more power to unleash more mayhem on the people in this gov governorship election. When the evil people are committing evil and atrocity and you continue to hear them for it, they will continue to push more. Katrina Lan, like I've said before, the British government don't want Nigerians to live in peace. This is why they brought this fake democracy for us. I have to ask this question to Katrina Lan. Is this how the British practice democracy? This democracy that they we are doing everything possible to look for a way to destroy the agitations of Biafrans. To blame the Biafrans for bad election in Imola. But we saw that in time. And we started telling the so-called unknown government to use their sense, even though we know that the governors have been the one creating them. And they managed to use their sense, their number six. Without listening to the governors, they could not do anything rash. But thank God that the world has not seen it. The British government have been the one collaborating with the Nigerian government to frustrate the innocent youth of this country. And this is why I have continued to say that I don't have anything against anybody who is fighting for new Nigeria. But the truth must be told. It cannot work. It cannot work. Because you are not willing to do the nephew. If you want to fight the devil, you have to use long spoon. This 2023 was the worst election ever happened in Nigeria. But 2027 will be, be more worst. Be the most. I'm telling you right now. Because these people are devil. They will never allow you and your kids to grow up. They want to continue to put you down. They don't can that come. If they use this system, it didn't work. They use another one. This day, they are collaborating with INEC. Without them collaborating with INEC, there will be no room for rigging of election. But because INEC is collaborating with them, somehow, he was doing what Buhari told him to do. Forget Buhari. First of all, he claim he want to leave fair um, and free election. But what did he do? He went to polling bullets after voting. He told them who he voted for. He disobeyed. He, in fact, he disobeyed the law of the land. What can we say? He didn't start today. After all, none the county is in DSS custody. After court has set him free. And nobody said anything. Because people believe that he has not come to their doorstep yet. Today, this election has happened this way. Who are the people being killed in Lagos? It's not Igbo people. Everything happened, Igbos will be more than. I'm not against anybody. But we have to say the truth the way it is. This contraction can't work. I call it contraction because it's a zoo. If it's not a zoo, people will not go on a massacre spree to attack people because they want to vote in Lagos. Such thing did not happen in the north. It's only in Lagos. 
Now to show you how tribalistic they are. I will continue to say that until they learn how to live a good life. You will tell me that they are out, talk, this and that. What about the one they call P2B? Uh, 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 uh. God to P2B, a, a desperate man. What about him? An opportunist. What about him? His fellow son also a tout. What about him? This is called tribalism. Tribalistic. Now they have they given the winning to Bolat Nibu. I believe he's happy wherever he is. This is what is called tribalistic. Tribalism. And this is very bad. I don't really have much to say. I only say I thank God that we did not obstruct the election in Ebola. By now, something else will be happening. It's good that the world has seen that both Eurobars and their so-called politicians are part of the problem of Nigeria. Even though not all Eurobars. Some Eurobars are great people. But what baffles me is why some of them who are educated are contributing in such atrocity. Just like the musician who they saw in pulling boots beating people up. Is that one a thought? Enough is enough. I think I've come to the end of this news. Men bless us to share. Cheers. Thanks for watching.